So once again, this is um, uh, my friend Sainan, but I am not reading it. I have memorized it. <gasps> so I will talk to Sainan, and you guys will listen in if you care to. <laughs> Can you remind, because I don't know if um, Shantaine was here when you... Oh, sure, 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 sure. So this was a story I wrote uh, about a friend of mine, a childhood friend of mine, Sainan, who... Uh, it was like um, I was trying to you look up old people, old names from the past on the internet, and the first one was my first girlfriend, my first love. The second one was a horrible teacher I had in high school. And the third one was my friend Sainan, a childhood friend I grew up with when we were kids. And uh, to my dismay, I found out he had been murdered. Um, and 18 years before. So he had been dead for almost 20 years when I found out. So, you know, this, this story is like just me trying to kind of process it all out. And this is kind of the tail end of it because i don't think i could re I've memorize any more of that yeah it's it's like 30 pages but this is this is short so i'm so proud of you that you did this and i'm so okay. excited hold on a second let me just because i yeah all right here we go <laughs> i'd always thought there'd be more time i thought there'd be another day when we see each other again Balder, fatter, bitching about our lives, like all adults seem to do. But I guess that door is closed now. Every time I see Mel Gibson chain smoking in Lethal Weapon, I think of you. Every time I hear European new wave music, I think of you. Every time I walk through Abingdon Square Park or by the fences of PS41, or by the streets of the old neighborhood, I think of you, Sainan, and everybody else. Sean, Jamie, Daniel, David, Matthew, Peter, and the rest. And I miss all of you. I could see you up there, exactly as I remember you. Perfect in youth. Waiting by the gates for the rest of us to join you. I can see the gates coming closer for me. Chains shut and high, way higher than the fences at PS41. And I'm afraid because I'm old now and I don't think I can make it over on my own. So maybe you could squeeze them open for me so I could push my way through. Knowing you, you probably slammed them on me for a joke, and I understand perfectly. If the situations were reversed, I'd do exactly the same thing to you. And we chase each other around the clouds and play all day for eternity, where there's no going home for dinner, no schoolwork, no brown-eyed girls to break our hearts. Until then, rest in peace, Sonny Nay. My world was better off five minutes ago thinking you were alive in it somehow. Now it's lessened, poorer, cheapened. I love you. Suddenly I feel very tired. My eyes are getting very heavy. I powered down the laptop and put it back on the chair. I check the clock one final time. The clock is not my friend. It's nobody's friend. With that, I roll over and I go to sleep. Yes, Jeremy. Unmute yourself, please. Yes. Oh, Jeremy.